If it swims, he seeks it. If it exists, he will find it. And if it's possible, he'll catch it. Simply Fishing and host Bob Masacomer are on a quest to expand your fishing horizons on every episode. Brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Beckman, North America's trusted name in nets. Klein Nissan, your Nissan dealer with a global perspective. M&G by Lindy, now with the Buckaboo. Pose, makers of the original giant jackpot and a waker. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Angler's Edge Plus, fishing on the edge of technology. And by Western Filaments Tough Lines, when only the toughest will do. Nice one. <laughs> Let's live weld these things and we'll throw them all back and we're done. Yep. You're gonna have to turn on the live book because I don't know how yours works. We're gonna drop fish in live well today, folks. And then we'll put them back at the end of the day. We're gonna work up and down this river channel. We'll give these fish plenty of aerator, and uh, we'll take it to recycle. This should fill for us. That's a bass? Got a big one? Oh yeah. Woo-hoo! Hold that buddy up. I wanna see that, Mike. <laughs> Just a heavy, heavy jig for this shallow stuff, you know? Yep. Another one. Better? Or is it caught in the stuff? Gets wrapped up in those. That's right. why we're using the... <laughs> Hi everyone, Bob Masacoma here and welcome to today's show. It's not often a father gets the pleasure of working while actually fishing with his sons. Well, I did just that this past fall in northern Minnesota. You see, Jason, my youngest, and I are about to challenge oh, Mike, my oldest, one. and his friend Eric Alstrom to a bit fair. of, well, bass challenge. However, keep in mind, Jason and I will make all the rules, and of course, I do pay the editors. <laughs> Go figure. Truth be known, we are just going to have a great couple of days on the water catching some bass, and along the way, we'll identify how, why, and when, so you can do the very same thing. Get ready, because Mike and Eric truly have their work cut out on this edition of Simply Fishing. <laughs> I got a Z22 that's gonna have to be cleaned out when we're done with this. I gotta work that day. You gotta work that day? Yeah. I see. I got something going on, I think. All right, let's see your fish, guys. I know you did better than we did. There's a lot of fish back here. Yeah, you're just gonna set your fish back here, okay? okay. You're gonna hand them to you. We're just taking a look at the fish we caught and the fish we're putting back, okay? Seldom do we put fish in the live well, so we'll show them being being released. I mean, this is what it's all about. These live wells in the in the Z series Comanches are obviously very good live wells. Still dealing with 80 degree water. Yeah, 80 these, degree water. These fish are yeah. very much alive. I hope you got bigger than that. Yeah, otherwise they're going to be hurting, I think, that. Yeah. Very consistent fish, though. Yeah, very good fish. And you guys got them with, with black and blue jigs, flipping? Black and blue and jigs. Then, uh, and then pumpkin. Pumpkin. I think we got them deep. I think we do too. Those last two we got were pretty nice. Yeah. How many more you got? Two. Two more? 
You gotta throw out the big ones now, huh? No. You already saw the big ones. Oh really? Oh. <laughs> well, then I think you guys might you guys might be beat here. Good job. We got a couple of small ones in our mix. We also got a couple. Is that it? Well, Nine cool. Fish. Very cool. Nine fish, about Nine fish? Nine fish yet? Okay, we're going to slide back and let ours go now, okay? And like you say, these live wells are Well, big. we'll just get rid of the little guy get first. Get rid of the little guy first. Yeah. Well, you know, we had to start. We had to start someplace. I think they're doing all right. <laughs> you know, and these are non oxygenated. Yeah, there's, there's no assist. Yeah. Another little guy. That's okay. No, Eric, you were curious about how we were going to beat you guys, so we'll pull out one of them. This sounds like a challenge for tomorrow. I know, those are bigger fish. They're bigger fish, a half pound better, but we're not done yet. And this is just another little guy. Another little guy? Yeah. Okay, toss him back. There you go. <laughs> For Minnesota bass, though, to be able to come up here and just play around like this and have fun. It's a decent one right there. And two more. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That was the last one I just took. Yep. Yeah, the last one. In almost no light. I guess it's pretty close. Yeah. It's, but that's, that's, we'll get another shot at it. But today that wind blew so severely out there on the big lake, we couldn't fish the storm off. You just couldn't do it. There's rollers out there. You, I mean, even if you hooked up on it, you couldn't enjoy it. It wasn't fun. So Jason had the idea to come back here in the river and play in the river. And Eric says, yeah, there's, well, so did Mike. You know, there's some big fish back here, so let's come back and play with it. And folks, that's kind of like really what fishing is all about. You know, we want to catch fish a certain way. We want to fish a certain way. And the reality is the fish are going to tell us what we have to do to catch them. These guys have all had experience up here. And I've never fished this system before. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to fish again tomorrow. You just got an opportunity to see about an hour and a half of fishing. That's all we spent out here, an hour and 45 minutes. Tomorrow, we're going to have the whole day. We'll see if we can get some big fish. As you can see, there's a little competition going on between this Z-22 and this Z-21 and the two anglers that are in it. My son Mike's in that boat with his friend Eric, and of course, I got my other son Jason in the back of this boat. And I don't know, we got a pretty formidable crowd of anglers here. We'll see if we can catch some fish. I think huh? I'm just going to make a prediction and go out and say it. They're done tomorrow. It's They're over. Done? We're going to put over. Them to bed, huh? Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Good enough. Let's see if we can do it tomorrow. Yeah. We'll catch some more fish. We'll be right back with more Simply Fishing on a river in Minnesota, folks. You figure it out. I'm not I'm about to tell you where we are because these guys enjoy it too much. But we're going to show you some big fish tomorrow. What do you think? Do it. Hi, Dad. Hi, James. What are you guys doing? We're just reading the latest issue of Muskie's Inc. Yeah, this is Muskie's Inc. magazine. The future of tomorrow lies in the youth of today. Hi everyone, Bob Masekoma here, urging you to consider membership in Muskies Incorporated. Call today and learn more about becoming a member. Jumpstart the excitement and enjoyment of muskie fishing for the entire family through Muskies Incorporated. Call 1-888-710-8286. Join today. The chunks with the 3X, Strike Kings 3X, because mm -hmm. they last forever. If you don't get bit off, you won't replace it. All day. There you go. That looks to be what we're looking for. A decent fish, Dad. Oh, yeah. Not here yet. Wow. That's a little better. What did I tell you? Striking 3X chunk. 
I want to, I don't want to Pete David's jigs. Ooh, this fish is not happy with me at all. Okay, now watch what we're doing, okay? Because don't let it, don't let it slide into that rice. We'll put them all back when we're done. Gotcha. I think for day two, we're starting to get the edge. Gotcha. Now this is another situation like we were just talking about. I threw into a, that bigger pocket in there. Uh -huh. Didn't get bit until I came out of the big pocket and got into the thin one. That's when I got bit. Again. Throw up in there, son. Throw up in there. There's a school of them in there. I'm coming in, coming in, coming in. Okay, throw up in there. One thing that it's imperative to learn how to do, if you're doing this, mm -hmm. become third party with your trolling motor. Yep. So you never have to look at your trolling motor to know where you're going. You feel it strictly by your foot. And I know I run a different brand than you do. They're back there. Big one, Eric. Big one, Eric. Trying, look, I'm trying to get it over, those, over the rise. He just pulls it right over the top of it. That's what you have to do. I know. Look at them, they're casting way back in there. We can't though. Oh, they're back. I can hit, I can hit those. Look at this. Throw them back in here. I'll start throwing my scum frog into that. People don't realize it, but I got my start in fishing doing bass. You know, I chase muskies and stuff a lot now, but to return to the bass roots with you boys is a lot of fun. Because <clears throat> you guys are really getting into this bass stuff. I know that's because you can't handle the muskie, but that's okay. <laughs> I think I'll do just fine with that. Get her to come, get her to come. Oh, good boy. Is that a dog or is that a bass? I really hope it's a bass, because this is a big bass if it's a bass. Oh, it's oh, a good yeah. one. Good bass, good bass. Keep her coming, keep her coming. Oh, heavy. You want me to get out of the way so you can Derek? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, keep the head up, keep the head up. There you go. Try not to hit the head yep. when you get them in. Good job. I pounded it. Did I? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, we got some big ones in there. <laughs> Woo! It's a good day today. Yeah. And some of those pockets you throw into that you think are good, there's uh, there's no water in them. You know, they're shallow. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. You gonna go for it? Yeah. <laughs> Gas about six feet to the left. I know. Dueling crucial rods up yeah. here. Huh? That's an expensive duel. <laughs> the way that wind takes your line, it always looks like some fish. <laughs> Whatever it is you got, that might be another. Oh, bass. that's a bass. It's a big bass. That's a big bass, Dad. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Do you want me to keep you out of here? Yeah. Come on, girl. Oh. Woo. 
That's a big bass. Just shows you those are no dogfish back there. Nope, they're not all doggies. Yes, indeed. Watch my rod tip behind you now, okay? Yep. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> she tried to come out. guys, it's four o'clock. Well, let's see what you got. Let's see what kind of make one more cast. No, no one more cast. Jason said there would be no contest last night. Well, see, I think you guys went down in a way, and we've come up in a way. Well, I don't know what we've done. Folks, we're going to take a real close look here at what they've got. Jason sort of put it on them last night by saying that it would be no contest. And uh, I got a hunch it's going to be a pretty good contest from the sounds of it. But reality is, is we've had a really, really good day out here. We caught some pretty good fish, caught good fish last night. And we haven't covered a lot of territory. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of river systems like this throughout the United States, especially up here in the Midwest where we live that you can get on some of these edges and catch a lot of fish. Mike, Eric, let's see what you guys got. Pull them out of there. Pitching, flipping, gigging, pretty much all the same type of technique from both boats. Okay, all right, so hold those boats a little bit further apart there, Jason, so he's got room to set them down in. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Eric's got one, oh yeah. Good job. Okay, right now guys, you guys are in some healthy, healthy hurt, you know that. Well, that's, an, that's a fair one, yeah. We're about to show you bigger fish. I have a feeling we might have left the bigger ones in. Yeah. The yeah, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh that was, yeah, wait a minute That was here. a little quick you got rid of that one. Oh, another one he rushed to the water. <laughs> okay. 